So I'm at a neighbor's house, basically about a minute or two down the road from me, and he's been working on his house like I was with mine, um, just piecemealing it, taking down trees, and trying to open up his front yard. And uh, he doesn't have the equipment, and, and I figured I'd give him some help. Um, one of my other neighbors uh, referenced me to him because he was looking for somebody to do some landscaping, and uh, I think I have the equipment for it, so I'll at least see what I can get out with my machine and try to organize and pull all the stumps that I can so that we can get them piled up and them taken off.
All right, yesterday it was pretty much just pouring out the whole day, so I didn't record, but what I did was is I knocked down these two fill piles he had all the way back to the farmer's wall that was here. And then while I was moving one of the fill piles, I found a pretty big double stump that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out or get out easily. Uh, and then I basically removed stumps from that left side of the berm kind of all the way through the center area, all the way up to just behind the excavator, and then organize some of the hardwood that we can get rid of as firewood. Um, so there are, of course, some big stumps in here. Uh, this one over here, I may not be able to get out. Definitely not this huge one on the hill right here. Uh, that thing is just gigantic. And probably similarly this guy right here. I don't know, I'd say there's more than likely going to be four or five stumps I'm not going to be able to take out with my machine. Because these are pretty brutal hardwood stumps. Uh, so basically I'll basically I'll just have to talk with the homeowner if he wants me to rent something larger and take these guys out. <clears throat> but for now, I'm basically just trying to get out all of the stuff I can with my machine, get it all up to the front there so that it can be trucked away. And unfortunately, since everything's been so overgrown, there's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more stumps in here than I had originally recalled. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot more than I expected, but you know, that's how all these jobs go. I mean, even just in this area here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, and then seven, you know, just like small, medium stumps, so eight. <laughs> so, and right on top of that, I'm digging, it, it sucks because all of these, these stumps in here are right on this farmer's wall. So it's just all rocks I got to clear out and put back just so they're not in my way while I'm driving. That's basically how this whole first area was, just clearing out the area for the uh, drop zone. The plan will be to just kind of continue up this side of the hill here and work my way into the valley of the hill and see what I can get out. Okay, so up here in the front, I was gonna dig out these stumps right here, but I was just realizing um, at this part of our street, we still have the above ground poles, but the feed to this house is actually underground. So you can see that conduit coming down. And at the bottom, there's also an orange conduit that's carrying the coax cable. And uh, looking over here, <clears throat> here is the orange coax cable, I believe. So I'm not 100% sure how this is fed and what depth it's at and where the actual electrical feed is. So definitely need to call dig safe before I do anything up here because I really don't wanna dig up any of this area. And I don't know if it's coming up like that or if it's going around and then wrapping back. I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna stick to down here for the moment.
so up here at the uh, top of the hill, I kind of didn't really look up here too closely when I had quoted it, but it actually looks like there are stumps going all the way back into there and on that side. And then there, there's a whole slew of them down in this, this corner that I didn't see. So it's a little beyond what I quoted, but we'll see what I can get out of here. Some of these may come up pretty easily and won't be too big of a problem, but and they're all clustered like this. Uh, sometimes they can be a real brute to get out. Alright, so that pretty much pulls all the stumps that I can pull in this front valley area in the top there, coming down past my truck. Um, it's pretty much what I quoted them for, and realistically this pile right here is easily 50 plus yards of material. So I imagine the truck from the company that I will call will be able to fit most of this but I'm sure that I'll probably have to take a load or two or 
leave the rest here and then if we end up scheduling to pull more stumps do another load at a different time yeah so this was somewhere around 12 to 16 hours of time on the machine to do this much uh, which i think is pretty good uh, for how much i pulled out and there was probably you know one two three four really big stumps that i'm just not gonna be able to pull and then i think maybe two or three up there and then two or three up on that side that were just too close to trees and i would have been spending 30 40 minutes beating my machine just to try and get them out and then of course like this one on the hill is absurd you know that's my hand on it and it grows right out of the side and down into the the crown so you know I, i'm not exactly sure if i could get this out with like a five ton rental um but it might be possible i think the problem is, is that would really conflict with that tree and my access on either side of it is really tough because it's hard to dig from above and i can't really get on the sides it's pretty much i can only dig from this direction so this is one that might be a you know eight ten ton machine only type of stump and of course, like this one next to it you know you can see how big the root systems are coming off of it it's just going to require a lot of digging a lot of force to really pop those especially if they have tap roots like all the small ones so depending on what the homeowner wants to do now will kind of dictate if i keep working on this property or not um realistically uh, it could be that we contract out to somebody else or he holds off until he figures out what he really wants to do or what the price is going to be so this could be the only video here or i could be coming back to do some more work not totally sure yet so i guess we will see